Hello guys, welcome once again. If you are following this video, till now I, I have been uh, writing the code to add, delete and update the data from C Sharp to my MySQL database. So this is the code I, ha I have written till now to save, delete or update data. So whenever I enter some data here I can save it and delete it and update it now uh, in this video I will show you how to insert image uh, into your MySQL database with the help of your C sharp application so what I mean is I want to choose an image which is present in my PC or computer and that image I want to save it into my MySQL database and then later I want to retrieve that image once again so that I could be able to see it once again when I want to retrieve that image so let's see uh, how we can achieve that so first of all I will close this application and make this a little bit smaller so we are not using this so we need this till here and now we want to add a image with this data so take a picture box from here to here and resize it so this picture box will hold the picture which we are going to select and uh, take a button and we will change the text of this button as load image for example so this will load the image into this picture box so this is the first uh, part of the code so for selecting the picture so just double click this button and in here write uh, this code this is just to open a uh, open file dialog and choose a picture from your computer or PC okay if we want we don't want to give this title also okay so write open file dialog dialog and then is equal to new open file dialog and in here copy this variable name here dot filter is equal to jpg file and bracket dot jpg bracket close or then once again star dot jb jpg or png files in the bracket star dot png bracket close or dot star dot png or all files and in the bracket star dot star or star dot star so what this code will do is uh, it will filter your uh, files because we are using this uh, dialog box only to choose pictures so that's why I am choosing the picture format jpg or png or all files so when your open dial file dialog will open it will show the option jpg or png or all files so I will show you uh, that in a moment what this line means and uh, then write if your dialog dot show dialog is equal to dialog dot ok then in the bracket write string pick load or you can say pick path this is the path of your picture so string pick path and dialog 
dot file name to string okay so what this will do is this will copy the file path into this string okay and then copy the name of your picture box which is this picture box and paste it here and write dot image location is equal to this path so what this line is doing is it's just providing the path of the picture and it's loading this picture into this picture box so write this uh, code to select the picture and load the, the picture into the picture box so if you are done with this code then we will test this so username password correct and I will when I click this load image here you can see it sets the filter jpg or png or all files so that's why I have given those filters to it okay so uh, for example I want to choose png files and I want to choose this picture so it has loaded a picture into my picture box okay and that picture now I want to save it in the database okay so now we will write the next part of this code so once again uh, first of all let's see what we have in the database so if you're following this video I'm using this uh, database in my SQL for demonstrating in this video and I have this table employee data until now I have added employee ID name surname age and we have this username and password gender of the employee and date of birth of the employee but now I want to add the image of the employee so I will add a new column so I will right click and alter table and in here I will add a new column called image and the data type of this image is a blob this blob contains binary data so that's why I'm choosing this blob data type so just do that name uh, name of the column and data type blob and just apply that and finish so now I have added one more column for the images in my database now I want to add the image or save the image into this database so let's see how can we do that so I will go to my code once again now the second part is saving these images so if you are following these videos in the video number six I have shown you how to save data into the database so till now we have been adding uh, the strings or integers or date into the database so this button when we click it double click it this is the code for saving the data into the database so this code if you don't know I have shown you in the video number six and in the later videos I have added how to add date into the database also so basic code if you don't know then you will find it in the video number six so I will add some new things into this uh, code and the rest of the code will remain same okay so if you don't know then go to video number six and copy that code now I will come to the form once again and here I will add one more text box to save the location to see the location of the chosen file so I have added this text box 